In the last video lecture we covered basic structure of antibody molecule. You must have come across the terms FAB and FC in immunology. What are these? To understand these terms we need to look at key experiments which revealed the antibody structure. These experiments were Proteolytic treatment of immunoglobulin or antibody with enzymes papain and pepsin Chemical treatment of immunoglobulin with the chemical, mercaptoethanol. Gerald M. Edelman and Rodney R. Porter shared 1972 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for determining chemical structure of antibody. Let's understand these experiments and their results in brief. First we will see what happens when an immunoglobulin is treated with the enzyme papain. Porter did his experiment on immunoglobulin G of the rabbit. Papain is an proteolytic enzyme. As the name indicates, it splits or cleaves proteins and we know antibodies or immunoglobulins are also proteins. When the antibody is treated with enzyme papain, the antibody splits into three fragments of about equal size. It was found that enzyme papain cuts the antibody molecule just before the two disulfide bonds, which link the heavy chains together. That is, at the amino terminal side of interchain disulfide bond that link two heavy chains. As a result, two identical fragments are produced. Each of these consist of one light chain, and one heavy chain held together by interchain disulfide bond. Since these fragments have antigen binding activity, Porter called them fragment antigen binding, abbreviated as FAB. So, there are two FAB fragments. The FAB fragment contains the V regions and binds antigen. The third fragment has no antigen binding activity at all. It consists of constant regions of heavy chains, held together by disulfide bonds. It was found that, this fragment crystallized during cold storage. So, it was called as fragment crystallizable, abbreviated as FC. We now know that, FC fragment play role in opsonization and complement fixation, which involves antibodies. Edelman treated immunoglobulin with the reducing agents such as mercaptoethanol and he found that antibodies contain disulfide bonds. Mercaptoethanol is a reducing agent and it breaks disulfide bonds. As a result, all disulfide bonds are broken, leading to the splitting of immunoglobulin, into two identical chains with a molecular weight of about 22 kilo daltons each, and other two identical chains with molecular weight of about 53 kilo daltons each. The larger molecules were designated as H or heavy chains, and the smaller ones, L or light chains. In other experiment, Albert Nisnoff treated immunoglobulin with enzyme pepsin. It is also a proteolytic enzyme, but it cleaves immunoglobulin molecule at the carboxy terminal site of the interchain disulfide bonds, that link heavy chains. This results in a fragment, in which the two antigen binding arms of the antibody remain linked. This fragment is represented as FAB prime whole twice. Now, here you know F stands for fragment and AB stands for antigen binding. The prime symbol here represents variation in the structure of this fragment as it contains a few more amino acids than the FAB fragment. The number 2 here represents that two such fragments are linked to each other. This fragment has same antigen binding ability as the original antibody molecule. The remaining part of antibody is cleaved by pepsin into several small fragments.
So, now we understand what are Fab and FC in an antibody molecule. There are two Fab in basic antibody structure. These are antigen binding fragments which contain variable regions and the first constant region of the N terminal side. The FC is composed of only constant regions of heavy chains and form the stem of basic antibody molecule. Note that C in FC is representing the term crystallizable, since this fragment crystallizes under cold storage.